Alright, what's up my boys? We're now gonna be remaking the health bar. Like I said in the other video, you guys are saying how you're having a lot of problems. Um, I'm gonna try to go more in depth with this one too, so you don't have those problems. Same thing with the last time. I'm gonna be having the link down below for the health bar only. Let's get down with it. If you wanna know how to make the stamina bar, watch the previous video. It goes in depth and I explain everything and I also have the module down below in the description for that uh, video so you can get the module from the other video. Right, let's, let's start so inside this one this uh already made screen gui we're gonna make another frame we're gonna call this health holder and then let's scale that um like so right here i like to make the health personally i like to make the health bar shorter than the stamina so something like this and that looks a bit I don't know. For some reason, it doesn't look even to me, but I think it is even. I might just be tripping. We're going to make the border pixel size zero. Duplicate this, put it inside here. We're going to name this bar. I'm going to do positioning. I'm going to do zero, zero, zero. I'm going to do uh, make the color, uh, no, color green. This green. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. And to make sure it's equal on all uh, all devices, see if you were to change the device right now, you see we don't want that. We don't want that. Bro. Go here and then we're gonna go to that plugin I showed you guys uh, last time. This is the plugin right here. We're gonna hit this blue one. I'm gonna set the position to scale and the size to scale. And then we're also gonna add a UI or yeah UI constraint. Um, same thing, scale and offset, and then. I don't think you need a UI constraint for that because it's inside and it'll be like a one, one, one thing. So yeah, see now it's better as you can see, it looks nice. All right. So that's going to be the health bar. Um, let's get into the scripting part of it. So if you remember last time we made a, a thing in here called status, uh, status scripts. I'm going to take that and I'm going to use that. So. Inside of this folder, we're going to make another folder, a local script. We're going to call it health main. Health main local. And then we're going to get the script header, our handy dandy script header. Again, link to this is in the description. This is what I use when I start scripting. So, yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna be using a lot of these, so I'm just gonna take this comment out and then this con oh no 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 and then this comment out bam like so. So then we have the player defined. We have the player defined, we have the character humanoid defined, and we're not gonna use use the bodies or the mouse, so I'm gonna delete these two. Yeah, let's get into it. So now we're gonna add another variable called health tween. And then inside function, I'm gonna make a function called uh, change bar equals function percentage. This is gonna handle the bar uh, growth, I guess. I don't know how to describe, but yeah, that's what this is gonna be doing. And in the events we're gonna have um, humanoid.health change connect function fires. This fires every time the health our health changes and just to test it out let's do something so our health changed let's define health local local hp equals humanoid.health local max hp equals humanoid.max health okay and let's do our health change and then comma hp and let's see if it prints this is just to make sure that we are doing everything correct so far so yeah if i go to the health and i do like three or something see our health changed three that's our current hp so yeah i mean the reason why it's not regening is because we're doing it locally and it's not actually taking effect if you do it locally you have to do it server-sided by going here and clicking that but that's not important right now or at least not yet so now that we have that what we're going to do is that when our health changes we're going to define a percentage variable so percentage equals hp divided by max hp and to make sure we have the little thing where like it shows the numbers let's go in here and then forgot to add this little thing so let's add a text label in this uh, screen gui 
and then let's size this one one wait one zero and then one zero make sure the background transparency is one and i don't know if i have, yeah it doesn't have a bit border pixel all right let's scale the text and then find the font that we like personally i like i don't know i don't really like any font i'm just gonna pick a random one honestly all right i'm just gonna go with merryweather set the color to white and then let's set the default text to an a and a no we're gonna go back to the health main and then in the health main we are going to uh, call this function so we're going to say every time it fires we're going to call change bar and then we're going to do sorry we're going to do change bar and then we're going to do um we're going to send the hp the max hp and then the percentage let's also have add a debounce function so db equals false and here we're going to do if not db then db equals true again to prevent like those glitches db equals false right paste it here and then before we go here we want to just make sure we clear out the tween function the, the current tween we want to make sure we pause that in the event okay so we're going to do if health tween then health tween pause health tween equal oh sorry equals nil and let's change this to if healthy let's change this to if health tween doesn't equal no there you go this is basically gonna like pause the uh, HP, the animation so that you can just redefine it inside of this function right here. So now that we have that, let me make sure I paste, there you go. So now that we have this, let's go into the change bar function. What we're gonna do, um, oh, we haven't defined the actual screen GUI yet. So let me go back up here. So up here under this, what we're gonna do is local GD equals starter GUI. Or do I not have okay I have player GUI, right? Wait for child. Oh no. Let's do find first first child H U D or we're gonna copy this here. Copy this here. We're gonna paste this here and then change this to wait for child. Or what this basically means that if we try to find heads up display first, then it doesn't find it because like we have it we loaded before the GUI loaded. It's gonna wait for it. So yeah. Alright, and then you're gonna do local health health bar or yeah, health bar holder, I guess equals HED same thing local health bar equals health holder okay cool so that's it all right now we can come back here okay so what we're gonna do is gonna do local colors this is gonna be like for the, the colors for one like you know we're low and stuff so local colors equals and then you're gonna have I don't know red red equals color three dot new I'm gonna do um oh no I don't need the quotation marks for that my bad so yeah red equals color three dot new and then you're gonna find like a red color and do yellow equals color three Dot new, you're gonna find a yellow color, and then we're gonna do green equals color three. Dot new, then you're gonna find a green color. That's the color that we always use, which is this one. Okay, nice. Before we continue, let's define one more function. This is gonna be, I guess, this is gonna be like a, a core function. Let's define a helper function, which will help us define what color we're gonna use. Okay, so I'm gonna name this which color equals function, and then you're gonna do. Yeah, that's pretty much it oh we're gonna do percentage, percentage i guess so you're gonna do here basically this is a helper function you can just do it you can also just do this inside of here but just to stay organized i'm gonna have two separate functions just in case i want to edit this later on for something else so yeah we're gonna do this handles um color selection so we're gonna do local color equals green or actually gonna do white mm, yeah let's do white and let's add white right here this is just gonna be for like if like i don't know we haven't loaded yet or something and then you're just gonna have zero zero zero. I think it's one one one. Okay, this is gonna be like indicating. This is gonna indicate that like your health is kind of glitched, so it doesn't have any uh, real color yet. So we are gonna leave it leave it as white. So yeah, local color originally equals white. No, oops, sorry, white. Now what we're gonna do is that if percentage is greater than um, or equal to one. No, if percentage is equal to one, then color. So color equals green else if percentage is less than one one uh yeah and the percentage is greater than or equal to let's say 0.5 no yeah yeah less than one but greater than or equal to 0. 0.5 okay so no i did this wrong hold on so if percentage is equal to equal to one 
or a percentage is greater than actually no, we can just do one right here so if percentage here is greater than greater than or equal to 0.7 then it's green right and else if percentage is less than 0.7 and percentage is greater than 0.5 i'm gonna say 0.45 then color should be yellow color is equal to yellow else if percentage is um less than so great less than an equal it's not an equal sign right here my bad and if it's less than 0.545 then color should be color should equal to red and then at the end we're going to return we're going to return color okay all right so now what we're going to do is local selected color equals and they're going to call that function the which color function and then we're going to send the percentage okay and then we're going to do bar or hp mm, let's actually define the tween first let's say i just find the tween so we're going to have let's uh, yeah we're going to have um health tween let's do that. let's do info first. info equals local info equals tween info dot new and then we're going to do do it over 0.25 seconds we're going to do enum dot easing style dot is it yeah that this is easing direction right no easing style dot i guess all right quad and then we're going to do enum dot easing direction dot in out and then we can leave the rest honestly and then local goal equals we're gonna have size equals udent two dot new and then we're gonna do percentage zero one zero like last time and then we're gonna do um background color three equals and then we're gonna do um selected color and now we're gonna do health health tween equals tween uh, no yeah tween service and then create and then we're gonna do HP, no, yeah, health bar, info, and then go, right? And then we're gonna do health tween. And we forget to we forgot to define one more um variable. That's the text label thing. Let's change that text label to health uh sorry, health health display. And since it's white, and I think the background might be white, what we might do is that you're gonna change the background from being well, because look, I think the background is white, right? I'm confused. Oh yeah. Yeah, we don't want the background to be white. Let's make it like how the stamina one is. So oh boy. let's just copy the stamina's gradient and then paste it inside the background gradient. Boom, like so. There we go. So now the background is white. So yeah, let's go back here. And then we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to set the, we're going to define the text label. So local health uh, display equals, we're going to copy this one. And then change bar to health display because that's what we named it. Bar or health display, health display. Cool. All right. Then we're gonna do. Um, after we play, we're gonna do health display dot text equals. And then we're gonna do. We're gonna do. Um, 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 um. Oh yeah, we have to get. We have to catch these two variables. So HP and then max HP, right? Yeah. So it's gonna be two string HP. And then dot dot this little sign right here dot dot and then two string again max hp you don't really need to do the two string because i think um this version of roblox's version of lua automatically concatenates not concatenates um what's that word it automatically casts the uh the integer into a string value when you're trying to put it into like a a text label but like it's a good practice to do this just in case you plan to move on to other languages just get get used to like you know casting even though you don't need to all right so yeah that's what this does it's going to give us a little um nice number display on the little health bar and honestly i think we should be done now we're just going to try to run the uh, run the script and then do some debugging if necessary i'm also going to put this right here just so that it can start off looking right all right so now we can on and then we should be able to start our debugging and see if everything works. Okay, so we have one error. Okay, and that error is property is a color three, but it's given a string. Interesting. So we gave it a string. So that means this one, selected color. Mm, oh, okay, that's why. So let's go back to line 70. Well, it's line 70 for me. I don't know how much you indented, but it's a line that says uh, local selected color equals which color percentage okay for this one we got it we we have the concept right but we forgot to get it from the actual table so oh we named this colos <laughs> colors so now we're gonna do colors right and then this 
and then we're going to do that so colors and then which color percentage this gets gets the color uh with with uh the percentage from the colors table using the um which color function okay so now we should be straight there we go so now as you can see it's 100 100 let's test out the uh thing works so if i go to uh humanoid here and if i make the health take three yep nice as you can see it changes to red if i make it like let's say 50 it should change to yellow nice this, this is uh cool but like i think i might turn on that yellow color a bit because it's hard to see the text so let's go back and fix that yellow color okay so we're gonna go here and then uh bang uh, i think this one is good like this oranges and yeah and let me show you guys how it would look like when it's growing so let me try changing my health as the server on the server side so we're gonna do health and i'm gonna make the health like 15 or something so now the health should be regening see nice oh so we have one issue here <laughs> so this is gonna like show the exact decimal point if you want to fix that i can show you the how to fix that so simply just go back here and then you see how we have this you can just i'd leave this out or cut this out and do math dot math dot floor this is basically just gonna um truncate it to a, a whole number same thing here math dot floor and then boom now we shouldn't have that that problem anymore so yeah if i go here um and then i here search humanoid go to health and i do like what three yeah it's gonna show you the whole number so yeah that's that's pretty much it for the health bar i remember you guys kept telling me how like when you reset most of my tutorials didn't work after you reset i don't know what's up with that but let me try resetting because right now i think everything works including the stamina so yeah let's see if i try to take some stamina away see it's, it still works and i'm gonna try resetting because like y'all kept telling me how like every single time i reset or you guys reset it stops working let's let's test that out because that was weird to me too all right let's like take some hp again Yeah, I mean, it still works, as you can see. So I don't know what that whole resetting thing was about. But anyway, um, yeah, let me know if you guys have problems. I'll leave the link down below the script header, the plugin, and the um, health bar itself in the description. I'll also leave the link to the stamina video if you were interested in this little stamina thing. So yeah, this, yeah. And I guess the next video, I'll show you guys how to make this little click detector thingies. And I guess I'll make one on how to make like a click, a part where like you touch it and you take damage. I, th I think some, someone was asking me about that. So yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all, catch y'all next time.